Okay, dumpsters. Yeah, behind this dumpster. Okay. We've got to hurry up because it's prone to flooding here, so they don't want anybody back here if it starts to rain. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh I got to back up. <laughs> Where's my... Oh. So this is what we've come to get. Some mulch for the yard. Huh. Cool. Awesome. I've checked with them as well just to make sure that no pallets or furniture or anything goes into this. They said it's just green yard waste that goes from this, from the tree companies. Alright, let's get as much as we can before it starts raining. Good. Good to go. Bye, awesome compost pal. We'll see you later. Hey, Mama. Hey, Kellogg. <laughs> okay, we gotta get out of here because like I said, it is prone to flooding here. They only allow you to get this once a month. So that's why it's the end of, what is it? Uh, July? July? Yeah, so we came now so we could come back in August as well. Yep, just once a month. Ooh, I lost my keys. I took, I don't know why I took them out of the ignition. I was like, oh God, I hope I didn't bury them under the compost. But they were up here. I just took them out. Okay, ooh, it's steamy hot. Thank you, local landfill. <laughs> Honestly, we could have probably filled the truck bed a little bit more, but it did start raining. And I just wanted to check and see how it went for the first time. No point in getting like a massive load and then struggling to get back home. Rainy, rainy. We actually just made it in time because it's been raining everywhere else, but um, not here it didn't. So we were lucky and we were able to get the truck filled in time before it started to rain. See, here's some sign of where it floods. All this right here comes down from the mountain and just washes the road out. So yeah, definitely don't want to be here after it's been raining a while. Here you go, check all your window down. <laughs> this is definitely the telltale sign that it floods through this road and you can't get through. And here's on the other side where it comes out. All right, it's starting to rain harder now, so we better get out of here. I think this is the last part that actually floods. So we're out and we're good. Rain, rain all you want now. Yeah, we made it just in time. That was luck. Thank you, nature. <laughs> well, somebody was looking out for us. It is down part now. Kinda hard to see. Okay. Ooh, oh, bumpy roads. 
Oh, the road's already flooding. Oh, shit. Their sewer systems here cannot handle really heavy rains because there's mountains on the sides and all the water comes rushing down to that. Oh, they should get over to... <laughs> no, there they go. There you go. I'll just go slower. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, much better. Holy cow! really letting down now. Eesh. I can see good on the camera, but not in front of me. It's kind of hard to see. And welcome back to the Vortex. We made it back home. What is this you say? Well, I'm trying to filter the gray water because I've noticed that in the gray water there's salts and it's not always good for the plants because I do put it on my plants and I don't want it to burn the plants because of the detergents and stuff uh, for the laundry and also washing dishes and stuff. So I was trying to reuse the worm buckets because I stopped doing that. Since I had those worms die, I'm going to do a different worm bin system or just add them straight into the compost. But, anyways, back to this. The only problem with this, it's working great. I did larger stones at the bottom and then gravel and then sand, more gravel, and then another layer of uh, sand. And it's working great. I'm just trying to clean the system out because you're supposed to flush it a couple times. But the problem that I'm having is that the sand comes up to here. And I had these aeration holes here for the earthworms so they can get air. And that's a problem because I can only fill it up here before it starts overflowing. So we're going to take this white bucket and we're going to do the same thing with it but the only thing we're going to do different is there won't be holes here we're just going to do a couple drain holes at the bottom and then fill it up the same way we did with this one seems to be working though i'm going to repurpose this the only thing i can't get to is the larger stone so i've got to go get larger gravel put it in that and then i'm going to since i did the layers about the same it was sand gravel sand gravel i'm just going to do it backwards in this one Oh, did you mm -hmm. get the bit? I don't know what says hold. It doesn't matter. Uh, that's that's fine. The larger bushes and stuff don't seem to mind. Just the straight dishwater or laundry water. It's the smaller plants that are a bit sensitive to it. Wow, that, wow, that goes pretty fast. <laughs> it's like jerking me into the hole. Okay. That should be good. Just uh, enough for the water to leak out. Okay. Now I gotta start filling it with the larger gravel. Now this is just a gray water cleaning system. We're not using it for drinking. Although the concept runs the same with it. I do want to clean each layer. So I'm doing the bigger gravel now. Then I'll add in some finer gravel. And then we'll add the... I'm just gonna do a couple layers this time. Then we'll add the sand in. Make sure it all comes out clean. Okay, now we're gonna add in the pea gravel and then we're going to wash that later. Perfect. And the reason why we're doing this is because these layers are gonna hold the sand in so the sand doesn't get washed away through the holes. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Last but not least, we're going to add in the builder sand. I was going to use the stuff from the other one, but I just decided against it. I'll just use this because we had a bag left. Okay. I want it to be kind of thick. And that should be good. All right, I'm going to rinse this off too. I want to leave a little bit of room for the water to set because it takes a, um, a little bit for it to soak through. Oh, 
Um, time for a little bit of that. Okay. I'm just gonna let that soak through. I changed one more thing. I added this to the top for attachment because the sand was getting all messed up. So the water goes in here, then it goes down into the sand. And I've washed it out five times and it's finally now looking cleaner. Awesome. Now that that's running clear, I want to test it. I'm getting some of the laundry water. Okay, that should be, well, yeah, that should be good. Out of this thing, it's been sitting for a couple days, so it is starting to get an odor to it. I've emptied the lower bucket out, and I'm gonna pour the stinky water in. And mucky water. Ooh, mucky. Okay, it looks pretty clear. I'll do the smell test after it's done filtering. Well, I mean, it's not drinking yeah. water, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, exactly. I um, I cleaned and made sure that it was running clean. Now I'm putting um, the laundry water in it, and I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kellogg. Okay, got all the stuff out. While we were in town grabbing the mulch, I grabbed a few other things from the thrift store. I had a 20% off coupon, so that made this stuff even cheaper. That there was only $3.50, as well as these a piece, the candle holders. But I'm going to make them into solar candle holders, and that'll probably go in between them. I just have to find a spot, but I thought those would look really great in the garden. There's a lantern. A plaque. I don't like it particularly too much gold, so I might change that and change it to a stone color. But it was only $5.50. Another lantern, which was $2.50 or $2.49. Then that planter right there, which was $7.50. This candle holder, which was $7.50. I'm going to put that in the garden as well. All this is going to go in the garden. But I'm going to put my spin on them. I'll probably put a globe on this and put a solar light on that. And then that little statue. It's a little creepy, but I thought it'd look interesting in the garden or either in a planter. And then I have this little medallion flower thing. I'll find a spot for that. This was only $3.49. And that was $4. That was... It's a hose bib, rib, whatever. <laughs> it holds the hose. I went to Walmart and also Lowe's, and they were wanting f from 30 up to almost $200, depending on which one you got. So I just said, nope. Found that one at $4. Awesome deal. This is the best deal that I found, and it just looks like a planter. It was $14.49, but it's actually a fountain. I thought that was dirt cheap for a fountain plus 20% off. So I paid about $12 for that. And it does have the pump in it. But I think I'm going to replace that pump with a solar pump. Because I don't want to have to plug it in. I might use that pump somewhere else. But yeah, definitely going to get a solar pump for that. That is cool. I love that. And I'm going with blue 
up on the deck, the gray, blue, and brown, so I'm gonna use it somewhere over there. I do really like this kind of lantern as well. It's heavy. It's like cast iron or wrought iron. That's awesome. And I love red, obviously. Red umbrella, red canna lilies, red skimboard bar, red little birdhouse. My old rig even has a red theme going on. And of course we can't forget about my red seating area with the red lean-to slash laundry room. So yes, I do appreciate the color red. It's vibrant, it's nice, it makes me feel happy. But yeah, this is my thrift store haul. I think I got a lot of good deals. What you doing, Mama? What you doing? Are you waiting for a walk? Huh? Walkie-poo, walkie-poo? <laughs> I know, we'll go in a second. Don't get me wrong, I do love red, but I also do love muted colors like I did in this. I didn't want everything to be bright and flashy. So I did this in the grays and browns and blacks, and I got my inspiration from that blanket there. And see how I was telling you about the blue? That's the blue that I'm going to use, not that blue. That was just here for just a little bit, just to fill in, but that is going away. And I'm gonna be getting accent, just like the fountain. It's gonna be in that color and pillows in the blues, grays, and browns. The throw pillows for here. Uh-oh. She is just waiting for the walk. I know, hold on, I'll be done in a second. But yes, I do really love these colors as well. And then I have a splash of color here and there, the purple and the pink and the flowers. So wet. But I love it. I took the filter off and the water is still mucky. It doesn't stink as bad, but it still has an odor to it. My main purpose for the filter was just to remove like the salts and some other stuff that might not be so good for the plants. So I'm okay with it being this color to feed the plants. We'll see, maybe it'll get better and better. This could also be some of the, cause I put a lot of water in there. This could be some of the sand still going in there. I have to pick a tester plant that I can use this water on and I'm just gonna use it just on that plant until I see that it's doing okay. And if that plant does well, then I'll use it on all of my plants. And this one I had to cut back. You can see a little bit of leaf burn there on that leaf. So I think this is the plant I'm gonna choose to water the, or use that water with. The dogs know it's time for a walk. They're being a little crazy. Crazy, crazy! Get them and we'll smack them. Ooh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Stay down. Who are you being crazy? Crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> walkie, walkie time. Look at Bruce has been busy. He actually finished this up. That's awesome. Wow. That looks really good. He connected the two. Now they'll go to the little pond that we started that I need to finish. <laughs> but obviously you can see it is working. The water isn't collecting on the driveway anymore. It's actually going into the landscape. Well, we made it back. My battery died. I had to borrow Jimmy's. I just wanted to show you one quick thing. Go, Jack, go! So this diverting ditch is working. Nothing collecting in the drive. And look how green it looks through here where the water is being dispersed. So I definitely want to maybe plant some trees up here just to get roots in the ground, but this ditch is working really well. Oh, the sun's almost gone. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm hungry. It's been a long day. Dinner time. Cooked up some hamburger and made some sloppy joes with onions. Dinner is served. I made a salad to go with it with some deviled eggs. And I did the open face sandwich since Sloppy Joe's are sloppy. But, and I added, I topped it with cheese. Looks yummy. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna dig in.